Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, November 8, 2023. 38 degrees at 4, what time was it? 4.24 p.m. and I am your host, Va Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Michael. Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan wants to come in. There goes Bobby. It is a cold, rainy, windy November afternoon. I am powerless. Life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God and the only thing that we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I'm hoping and I'm praying that I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. It's not too bad, to, hard to do that right now. Real easy to do that for the most part when I don't have to deal with people. <laughs> or bad things happening. Which there's a lot of outside that door right there. And I seem to be a magnet for it sometimes. But anyway, here we are. November 8th, 2023. It is the last day of my 62nd year of life on this planet. Tomorrow is what is known as my belly button birthday. Um, December 17th is my recovery birthday. But every day is my birthday because we live one day at a time. So, there it is. And I forget that a lot especially when I get through periods where I'm dragging a lot of stuff behind me that I shouldn't be dragging. And sometimes we pile more onto that cart without realizing it, or intentionally, but hey. I had a pretty good day today. Um, just got out of the shower, drank a couple shots of espresso. Before that, I laid in upstairs in a nice warm bed with my four loves all around me. Kind of dozed off, didn't really fall back to sleep, but did doze off. Had a pretty productive morning as far as cooking. Didn't get a lot of cleaning done or anything like that. Uh, I ordered a wall and ceiling mop over a week ago and I've yet to hear anything from the company I ordered it from other than the confirmation that I ordered it. I called that company today, talked to one person. They said you need to talk to the office. I got transferred to the office, got a recording machine, and left a message. So there it is with that. Um, we were pretty busy in the kitchen, though, this morning. We, after we did some stretching, some yoga, a few weightlifting, uh, some weightlifting, some jumping jacks, and folded up some laundry. I baked bread, I baked some chicken, I baked some little mini size yellow and red potatoes with seasoning. Um, those for a reheat for later because I had some other potatoes that needed eating up. Um, I went and delivered the bread to Keith. I had a nice salad, I had some potatoes, and I had a nice burger on a grilled bagel. Asiago cheese and jalapeno bagel. Oh boy! Got some ammo today, UPS. Miss Morgan delivered it. She had a helper with her today. It's the holiday season, and this time of the year, the UPS drivers usually have a helper with them. So while I didn't get to receive that package right from her hand, she waved from me at we. Yeah, she waved at me from the truck. So there it is. Yes, indeed. To the eight billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis. Uh, my UPS driver is named Morgan, and shes I think she's smoking hot. I'm not going to deny it, and I'm not ashamed to say that. I don't care. Call me a chauvinist pig if you want to. There it is. UPS uniforms are not fashion statements, but somehow she makes hers one. Yes, indeed. So, I did take Keith his bread. Former co-worker at Save-A-Lot. I bake bread for him every week. And... Uh, yeah, I'm feeling some aches and pains in my joints. I think that has to do with the weather. 
old crashes and things that catch up to you and you know I used to laugh when I was a kid watching TV shows or whatever about people that old people that predicted the weather because of the joints and their arthritis and stuff like that and I can kind of do that I notice I got a lot more aches and pains when it's humid like this well it's beyond humid it's raining it's brutal out there but it's still lovely it's November in all its splendor the season of fell as I call it September and October are fall and November is fell it's that period between fall and winter when all the leaves have fallen here go the name Oh yeah, and we're gonna definitely make another half carafe of espresso. I should have made a whole one to begin with, but coulda, shoulda, woulda. We're sitting here by uh, our fire, our wood stove, it's a beauty. Um, had one thing kind of irritating me today. A couple days ago I had asked someone if they wanted to go shooting sometimes this week and I didn't get a response. So I texted that person the next day asking again and ask something else and still haven't heard and when it comes right down to it I don't care if they want to come or not what does bother me is they don't have the decency and courtesy to respond to my question all it takes is half a second to type yes or no but I don't know so anyway I had to get that out and if and when this person ever does get around to responding I'm gonna send them back the emoji of giving them the finger. Uh. So anyway, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that. I didn't mean it when I said good afternoon either. I know it's cliche, but hey. So anyway, looking back on this past year, A lot of good things happened, had a lot of good experiences, but the one tragedy of it all, the biggest thing was losing my Sam. And I will be carrying him in my heart along with, you know, at least a dozen if not more others till the day I die. And I do hope to meet them all again at Rainbow Bridge and we can go with be, and be with God and all our loved ones who have gone before us. So anyway, another good thing we had today, uh, we were gifted again from Sister Judy. Uh, she got me a holster and she got me another one. So thank you, dear. I'm going to have to text her and let her know that that came in. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Well, we're back and we're fast losing daylight. Before long, the sun's not going to rise till like 9.30 in the morning and then it's dark by about 10 30. Sully's in here trying to weasel in and steal the plum spot from Michael. So far no bad things have happened but he doesn't like to share me and he's not shy about coming in and stealing the spot the best spot to sit from whoever's with me. Hey Sully. It's because he's a ball breaker aren't you? But I love him. I can't help it. He is who he is. Oh yeah. So anyway, on tap for tonight, we'll be watching a movie probably on the Canopy channel again and reading from Stalky and Company to the Loves. Try to make an early night of it and get up early tomorrow. But we'll see how that goes. Well, the light is going fast. Max and Elsa are still upstairs. I'm still here with Michael and that's Sullivan. And that's about all we have. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter and angry and bruised soul. Piss off. Happy, wonderful Wednesday and thanks for not tuning in. And it is Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. <laughs>